British Columbia is the epicenter for the opioid crisis in Canada. The issue has become so prevalent in this province that in 2016, the uh, then provincial health officer declared the opioid crisis to be a public health emergency. We had between five to seven deaths each day in the province due to fentanyl detections. Over the past few years, the opioid crisis has really evolved into an illicit drug toxicity crisis where we see fentanyl is really driving the crisis, but we're also starting to see the introduction of novel psychoactive substances. Novel psychoactive substances are drugs that alter your mental capacities. So basically your perception, your cognition function. The Provincial Toxicology Centre is the clinical reference lab for toxicology testing in the province of BC and also performs post-mortem testing for the BC Coroner Service. We test approximately 4,500 cases a year. The Provincial Toxicology Centre is a analytical lab that's housed within the British Columbia Centre for Disease Control and they're tasked with identifying uh, known illicit drugs as well as emerging drugs of abuse in clinical and forensic samples from all throughout the province of British Columbia. So the manual process that I'm using to uh, identify novel psychoactive substances is basically based on information that is freely available. And once I gather that information, I can then create my compound database and my data processing method. And using that data processing method, I can reinterrogate already acquired raw data files from our uh, current screening method and see if I can find NPS. So the novel psychoactive uh, substance are generally unknown to humans. And this proposes a challenge for how we can identify them. Our previous drug screen had the ability to look for one drug in approximately six months worth of samples and that that could take upwards of two days to analyze. We have implemented a new method that automates that process so that we can look for hundreds of drugs in thousands of samples dating back for several years which increases the scope of our testing capacity and gives us more timely information. Mass spectrometry is probably the most common analytical technique, which is able to identify thousands of distinct uh, small molecules in any given biological sample. The trade-off is that this data is extremely complex, and so linking the data that is acquired by a mass spectrometer to the chemical structures of the molecules that were present uh, at the time of the analysis is extremely challenging. So what we've been working on is developing um, methods using artificial intelligence that can look at a molecule, look at the structure of a chemical, and actually guess how it will be fragmented in a mass spectrometer. With automation from the robotics to the artificial intelligence, uh, it looks like it could be possible to, to simplify, accelerate, and improve both the quality and quantity of uh, samples that we can, we can analyze. If you can automate the feeding of samples into a mass spectrometer, you free up humans to do the things that humans really need to do in the whole process. And that mostly involves looking at the data and interpreting it and trying to make some uh, conclusions that, that will inform whoever uh, is doing the analysis. We have successfully built a very sophisticated models, uh, which specifically designed for predict mass spec for NPS. Um, the paper is published on the analytical chemistry and alongside a website with few million predicted psychoactive structures is free to use and we are hoping we can, um, we can benefit the, uh, the community. Currently, uh, we're building on this work by integrating these technologies that we developed to reanalyze mass spectrometry data uh, with another set of technologies that my lab developed to predict the chemical structures of illicit drugs that are going to be introduced into the market uh, in the near future. So this to me is very exciting because ultimately the hope is that we could identify uh, drugs that are completely unknown to science in a completely automated manner, simply from a, a, a clinical sample, for example, uh, urine or blood. We've learned through the, the past few years that uh, the drug supply is unpredictable, 
The number of deaths that occur as a result of the drug supply is very unpredictable and it's really necessary to be fluid with, with our operations to handle increases or fluctuations in the workload that we get in. To that end, I've been working with federal partners to collaborate with other labs to try to streamline the process, ensure that we have better communication and uh, intelligence shared between different jurisdictions. Right now, we have the ability to look for drugs that we know about, that have already been characterized. The next step is to try to predict what drugs might come out in the future.